Hi guys, my name is Gwyneth Gems and welcome to a tour of my mysterious island. The last video I posted was a tour of my sim town and now I am doing my mysterious island. There's a story behind this game save if you don't know. I lost my phone. I will put links to the videos I've made about this down below in the description. But I lost my phone in Turkey and I got in touch with Fire Monkeys and Sims Free Play. And they very kindly gave me another level 55 game save which was kind of had the same money, VIP, LPs and everything that I had before. And I'm just doing a little tour of the town, of that world, before I start kind of demolishing things and making it my own. I will have to apologise for the sound possibly in this video i'm not entirely sure at the moment but i'm currently sat outside by the pool i'll put a little picture of what i'm doing right now where i'm recording this i'm sat outside by the pool in singapore if you don't know we are kind of full-time travelers and we're currently in singapore and the only place i could find to record was down here by the pool i sat down and as i sat down it started raining and then the gardeners came by with their like electric axe thing saws chopping down coconuts which by the way I've stolen some coconuts from them or not stolen I asked them they gave me them and they came with their like blowy leaf things I was like oh my goodness so if there's if the sound if there's so background noise in this I do apologize I'm doing the best with what I have at the moment but enough of that let's go ahead and get started on looking at this mysterious island so in terms of my monuments let's have a look at the monuments first I think all of my monuments are at level 11 I have a feeling, yep, that's 11. Has anyone actually built all of these monuments? Apart from the people who like give themselves loads of LPs and SPs and like completely glitch the game and cheat. Has anyone built all of these monuments and got the, um, the what's it called, the volcano in the middle? Level 25 you've got to get all of the monuments too, yeah, but they've given me level 11 on all of the monuments, so that is quite good. In terms of the four areas that you unlock with your life orbs, I had unlocked three of the areas. So I had unlocked the beach, the carnival, and the pet kind of place. I hadn't unlocked the ice, ice arcade or whatever it's called, and I have got that. So I'm a bit good about that because I kind of enjoyed doing those other three. But I have got those four places unlocked. I have also got, I have never noticed that like, like rickety bridge before, ever. I have got a few houses over here, as you can see my castle is built and whatever this is, is this the bingo hall? Bingo hall is built. I have got a few of the, oh my goodness there's now a crane behind me if you can hear that noise, this is just incredible. Right, I have a few houses over here on the island and I have a few boat houses. I never had any boat houses in my previous games. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll look at the uh, how boat houses first. We have this one here. I know nothing about the boat houses. I don't know whether this is a pre-built one. I'm assuming it is. Are these SP to buy? I think they are. So I'm kind of quite pleased that I've got these simple i'm yeah i'm looking forward to actually building a boat house something i've never done before in sims free play so that will be fun and then we have this one here which nobody lives in it looks like it's a two floor two oh it's got a little pool this looks familiar i feel like i've seen this is that scandinavian furniture it's got a sonicare sink there that's quite nice. I'm just looking forward to just having a go and like rebuilding them myself. Like I say, never ever done a boat before. Uh, have we got any more? Oh yeah, we have one more over here, I think. And nobody lives in it at the moment. And, ooh. Yeah, I've seen this before. This is a pre-built. Oh, but there's nothing up here. Maybe was it just a one floor in the pre-build possibly and it's been extended? Not entirely sure on that, but I have three, I think, I'm pretty sure there aren't any more, we'll just double check, but I have three boat houses, yes, three boat houses, where is there space for, there's space for four boat houses, yeah, four boat houses in total, so let's take a look now at the houses that I have got, we'll go in this one first, oh and this is a spa, it's just the pre-built spa template, that's quite nice, I haven't built a house on the pre-built spa template, so it'd be nice, nice to have this. I might kind of give it a little redesign, 
I like this like this bottom bit that you get when you spill the spa. Then just next to that one we have this one which I have been in because this is where I put my fashion designers to do the prep for prom. As you can see, there they are. Oh no, look, they're all very unhappy. This has got quite a lot of things. Obviously, I added. In fact, no, I think there were these were already over here. These fashion design studios. Uh, oh, we've got a parrot. We've got some of the sci-fi furniture over here. Got some of the arcadey stuff, which I'm not familiar with at all. Like I said, I haven't done the. Well, I hadn't done previously the ice capade. What well, I call it, ice capade. I don't think that's what in, what it's called. But yeah, I haven't done that. Little dance mats as well. And loads of hobby kind of things here. A little look upstairs and upstairs. We've got just random things, really. This is like where, in fact, I could make this like where people come and do all like the, the events and things. Maybe I don't know. I probably will just end up demolishing it all, to be honest. Okay, so that is those two houses done. We'll head over, over here, we've got two premium lots that haven't been built. We've got this one that I'm building, I'm currently building one of the castle house, the architect homes there that I like. And this house, I think this house, I've been in here before. And it, yeah, it is the one that, remember when the premium, not premium, remember when the DIY update came out and they released some pictures of how it was gonna work. Do you remember since we played before the DIY homes update, like before balconies and before patios and things? That just seems ages ago now. It was such a massive, massive update. I just can't imagine having since we played without patios and balconies now. Can you? That's just, it seems insane. This image probably looks quite familiar to you if you're a Sims free play, or obviously you're a Sims free, why would you be watching this video unless you were a Sims free play fan? I did try to recreate this actually. I think I've got a tour up on the channel, possibly. It's nice to actually see inside what it looked like because I'd just seen that picture and then I tried to sort of design my own sort of version of it. So this is what Sims Freeplay had actually made. It's got some sci-fi stuff in the bathroom. Why does that glitch out like that? Look at that when you go down. It glitches. I don't know what that's all about. But we've got a downstairs, a basement I mean. Nice. And then upstairs. Quite a lot of stuff there. It's a nice build. It's one of like my favourite ones actually. I really do. I just think it's such a pretty design. Nice house. What is this uh, out here? Just like a sunroom. I think I made it in my design. I made it into like a little greenhouse thing. One of those vases. I like those vases. So yeah, that is that house. The rain is getting heavier by the second. Is it getting louder? Can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. I don't know how I'm going to get back to my room, to be honest. It's about a five minute walk. I might have to hide out here under this kind of big umbrella until it starts raining. Okay, so I think I've got one more, yeah, one more house. There's not actually that many spaces to build over on Mysterious Island, is there, to be honest? Right, I've got this one house over here, which looks huge. And, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, so it, is it... Oh no, it's not. Oh, that's a shame. It's not actually been kind of finished. This might be a good project to kind of finish this build. It's got all its, obviously, it's got its outside stuff. This was a Neo Tokyo, as you can see by the, like, the start of the design. This was a Neo Tokyo house. And then it's just been expanded. Is it kind of the same? It's kind of symmetrical, isn't it? I feel like, was this an architect house? I feel, This seems familiar. I feel like I've said before, oh, it's a symmetrical version of the Neo Tokyo. I don't know. But yeah, I think I will... Oh, we've got a pet dragon there. I think I might keep this and kind of try to finish off the decoration. I like that. Oh my goodness, this crane. I can't even believe this crane start. This is madness. This is driving me mental. Right, let's just have a look in the stables quickly. I have been over in the stables because, as you can see, I'm doing uh, one of the hobbies, the horse tricks hobby. But they've given me quite a lot. <gasps> oh my god, it's in every... Oh, I never even saw that I had that before. I've got a rainbow unicorn. Oh my... Oh my goodness. I have one. 
I didn't even know that I actually had one. I knew that because I clicked on the plus horse thing to add a horse and I knew that it was possible for me to buy it because that was, was that some sort of limited event or something? I can't remember, but I, I just didn't complete it because we've got the normal unicorn there that you can get for 100 LPs. And then we've got the rainbow unicorn, which is 120 LPs. And I remember being gutted at the time that I couldn't, that I didn't get the rainbow unicorn. And now I have one. Somebody commented it was funny. Somebody commented on the previous game, on the previous tour that I did of my sim town. It was it Enderman? Somebody Enderman. Hi, if you're watching this one. So they wish that they could lose their phone and that Sims Replay would give them a game with all of the things in. Because, I mean, it's... Like I mentioned in the previous video, I have got some amazing things with this game save that I didn't have, like the product red stuff, like that rainbow unicorn. But also, I think I may have lost a few things as well. So it's kind of sort of evened itself out in terms of what I've gained, I've also lost and stuff. So, yeah. I think that is kind of everything on Mysterious Island. I don't think there's anything else that I can show you. Let's just do a little brief swirl around yeah that is everything so that is my mysterious island i am now going to start making it my own demolishing doing some building and yeah look out for some house tours hopefully pretty soon i go through stages of building in some sweet place sometimes i'm really into it and sometimes i'm like ugh, oh, can't worry. so yeah i'll just see how i feel but hopefully watch out for some new house tours coming soon to the channel thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed I do apologise for the stupid rain if you can hear it and the crane and any other background noises that you possibly have had throughout this video. Uh, yeah, they're annoying me as well, don't worry. Right, thanks for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!